Welcome back, it is Thursday, that means Acting Analysis for Animators, and today I'm gonna to take a look at part three of season one of Succession. As always, good stuff to look at, so why waste time? Let's get straight into the sequences. And first up, we have this where he, <laughs> oh, I have to laugh, he's just so good. He's asking, so how is her father doing? And the help, she is the nurse, she's taking care of the father, and I love her looks. This is all about her looks and the pantomime and the unspoken words. So if you look at, so how is he? Oh, well, you know, she goes, oh, well, you know, I love this. I love all of the, the lead up, that the face, you got the, basically she's looking kind of her a little bit, switching over, you got the beginning, with the eyebrow lifting, and then kind of like, oh, well, you know, so now it becomes just a complete lie, like, oh, well, you know, then an awesome shrug, and then <laughs> with that slight smile, she does make some sounds and she says, well, you know, but it's great, it's a great little moment that would work without the lip sync as well, it's just such a great expression. And to that she says, well actually we don't know. And then he says here, well we heard about the sock, basically he is old and frail, but he was able to put on a sock by himself, and I love her reaction, where it's just kinda, yeah, uh-huh, right, oops, gotta go. <laughs> but she's not really looking that long, it's such a just pretense gesture, and I love all of this. I love all of her reactions. You got that, mm, all right. Okay, well, you're a funny one. All right, so I gotta go. Well, let me just show you that it's time. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that the whining of the eyelids, that stare, uh-huh, and gotta go. She just does not care whatsoever. And again, this could be the end of the scene, but now we cut back to his reaction going right there. What? And I love that too, that little head shake. She of course has the same reaction here going, wait, what? And I love that beginning of something. She wants to say something and it kind of goes with that hand gesture, goes, wait, what? Looks at her soon to be husband or husband. And then he goes, what? I love this, that little leaning forward, that tiny little head shake is such a great reaction of what just happened? So good. Next up we have this awesome sequence here where he comes in, introduces, himself and everybody else, he got that, you know, pretending to be all confident, we know he's not really, posture there, introduces everybody else, and then his brother, who has a back problem at that point because of a trainer, somewhat of an injury, I love this here, so they all sit down, and what I love about him is that wave at the end, he already has that awesome thing, and he has awesome gestures throughout the whole show, but, alright, I'm gonna stand here because my back is killing me, now you might argue in animation, you don't have to point too much or act out words, but you know, live action, you always get away with other things. But I love this, it's the fingers kind of turn in with that wrist. It's a great moment of, I'm gonna kind of stand here, so my back is killing me, and he does this. <laughs> I love that, like that, I don't care at all. Like, yeah, you do, you guys just continue on. And I love that reaction, look at that. That little slight, loose head shake, that waving of his arms, and that expression. Ah, you guys, yeah, continue on, and then he continues, shoulders up, gesture, look at that face, uh, and then again, watch out, uh, uh, that little thing there, so good, and again, it's just a moment where, well, you guys just continue, and it's not really in the audio, it's not, not something where he would say something that you would think, oh, he has to point or gesture, I love that little moment of, uh, and it's kind of preceded by that little head move, look at this, it starts with the head, like, uh, and then you guys, the offset, so good. I love little moments like that. Also, his reaction to all of this is, <sighs> okay, well, let's continue. <laughs> Next up, we continue with this character, and this is an example <laughs> from my love of props and sets and things that you can do where he has his new role, he comes in, he's got that look there like, yeah, yeah, I'm the new boss here, just got promoted. And I love how just that moment with the door kind of takes away that confidence. Oh, well, I guess, not that he cares, but you can use this to your advantage, where maybe a character really tries really hard to be confident and to be seen as confident, even though he doesn't feel like it. And then you get a moment like this that will potentially push that character into, uh, not a breakdown, but something where it's much more exaggerated. Oh no, I did this and I already can see that I'm not confident and all that good stuff. But I love that little moment. You know, and then he comes in and he has all his, his moving back with his, jacket here and looking at his table yeah that's my desk now 
and he continues on in that sequence there but i love that little moment of just a simple thing of i can't really open the door whoops and you can do this where you might do this right and he just continues because he doesn't care but in your case you can use this as an idea and then he would stop he would look around maybe some people that are working back there would look up at him and maybe smile maybe do nothing and he would have a nervous look and then come back and then from now on all of his confidence is gone and all the other moves for instance that walk like this would then be a lot more nervous you could use this for instance but he would fill around maybe with a tie or something and all that filling and that nervous and moving around would be the contrast where you start in a confident way and then because of this now you're much more nervous and again something about confidence and a prop they are brainstorming and Kendall is on the table I don't know why he took his shirt off but he is on the table and they're brainstorming oh we can do this we can do that and maybe you can use this as he's elevated not to be able to talk down to other people but it elevates him it gives him confidence he's high, he has a higher ground he can look down upon all the problems that he has but the reason why I'm showing this is because well everything's okay now we got to talk to our dad and he doesn't like that and that's that moment of oh right and now what he does is hmm okay okay, okay. then he steps down and then the shot continues where they do their thing but again you can use a set piece where the character is on it and is standing on it for whatever reason to feel better to look down upon their minions or whatever it is but that elevated position can be used for some acting reason and then you got the contrast and the change and the emotional change and the headspace change and everything where it goes hmm it's a bit of a problem and now he's not so confident and then you can visualize that by having him or her step down from the table the chair whatever that character is on but i like those i like those elements where since you have a character in a set and you have chairs and a table or whatever you have if you already put that into your scene then maybe use that to your advantage where you use that to elevate a character metaphorically symbolically however you want to but this these are all great moments and great opportunities to use for your acting moments in your, in your scene or your sequence. Boom, there you go. As always, a good mix of pantomime and acting and reactions and set pieces. And if you watch that channel, you know I love sets and props. And if you think that all of this is helpful and you think that hmm, I want to use this in my shots as well, I have workshops. We can work together and I can help you with all of this. Link in the description with all information about my workshops. So you can sign up at any time. And speaking of time, of course, if you watch this whole thing till the very end, I thank you so much for your patience and your attention. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, because I upload a lot, you can subscribe and hit that bell button. And for those who did that, and I just crossed my 10,000 subscriber list, thank you to all of the subscribers and the interest and people who keep watching this and participate. I want to say thank you very much. And that's it from me. I will see you in my next upload. Thank you very much.